Hello and welcome back to CTR Part 2, and in this episode we will be finishing off the first quadrant with Sewer Speedway. I love Sewer Speedway. Sewer Speedway is my favorite track in this quadrant simply because it actually feels really goddamn fast when you're really good at this course. However, I am not really good at this course, as evidenced by the fact that there's a particular shortcut right there that I cannot take. I have no idea how the hell you're supposed to get up there. I saw I saw the speed run of the dude doing it, and I'm still like, I, I can't do that. Yeah. I, I just can't. I think man. I know. It, I think it, I know what shortcut you're talking about. You have you have to hop in order to reach that one. No, you. It's not only that you have to hop. You have to be pretty much have a, uh, a level three power slide boost and hop off off the sewer pipe in, into that area, and then it's a just it's a massively disgusting shortcut, <laughs> and you are flat out required to know about that in order to get like the uh, the gold uh, relic in sewer speedway. I will be showing off relics, by the way. Um, I'm not entirely sure how successful I will be showing off relics, but I will be showing off relics. Okay, so you need you need three things in order to reach that. You have to have a full wampa meter, you have to have a boost of some kind, and you have to hop. You don't need a full wampa meter. You do not need to be juiced up, but you do need a level three you do need a level three power slide boost. At least as far as I'm aware. So I'm pretty sure I know you don't need to be juiced up because uh because the guy that was doing it uh, did it uh, during the time trial where you were not juiced up for the entire race. Right, because there are no there are no Wumpa crates. I do re I do definitely remember picking up that shortcut myself. I also remember that that shortcut is particularly difficult to get. I'm not gonna lie. It it, it is very difficult to get. And there uh, it is once again. Start uh, power sliding the other way right when you jump down there, and it's technically uh, we've already passed the lift that you need to, that you need in order to take, and it comes out like right here. But here's the thing: you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't follow the shortcut all the way through. Uh, if you follow the shortcut all the way through, you actually end up losing time. But yeah, Sewer Speedway is awesome. It's it honestly feels like a really fast track, despite the fact that it actually takes slightly longer than the other two. The other three tracks in the split. The soundtrack in CTR is pretty nice too. I don't think I've got any particular tracks that really stick out to me as things I would listen to outside of the game, but you know, there are plenty of tracks that I like. Yeah, there. Are, now that you mention it, I, don't, I think the most memorable track in the game, and that's that's a. Me, I, Give the word memorable a stretch would be the boss theme. <laughs> and this is how Ripper Roo talks. <laughs> yep. He, he's using actual words. So after success, so after successfully <laughs> getting his uh his oh yeah because there's a solid wall. There's an invisible the wall behind the blackness. <laughs> yes. All right, boss races are just you against the boss, but the boss is actually sig has got significantly better stats than you do, regardless of who you pick. You can pick Dingo Dial or Tiny and still be lagging behind uh, some of the later bosses. Right. Ripper Roo is very important to stay ahead of because uh, all the bosses have a particular power that they just have the ability to spam at you throughout the entire course. Ripper Roo is TNT. I don't think he gets Nitro until lap two. No, he's got nitro now because he's throwing. He's throwing. Oh no, no, that's right. He throws the TNT and they explode in contact. Um, well, let it. Let's let me state for the record that the boss does have to hit at least one power up crate in order to start using his power ups. But as soon as he hits that one crate, he has it for the rest of the map. And I think if you if you attempt to push him off the power crate, he'll still actually get the power up. I'm not entirely he, sure. He is. A, he is I'm a. a all of the bosses the have a lot of weight. They have a lot of weight, they have a lot of acceleration, so even if you slow them down with a power-up, they're gonna get right the hell back up to speed. But you're kicking his ass right now. Yeah, this is this is the result of me being very fucking familiar with this game. I know I know not the most efficient power slide methods, but some but some more efficient ones. Well, I, I I tend to know where uh, where to jump uh, where to jump in order to get hang time bonuses. I know how to hold up. I know how to hold on and prevent myself from wasting a tier three. You know, this this is mostly just me. Uh, this most is mostly just me showing off my experience. Yeah, it pays off. As opposed to me actually being good at it. 
What you think? You think there's a you yeah, think I'm there's not... a difference between skill and experience? <laughs> oh God, yes, very much so. What, well, dude? I, I'm all right. When we're done with our recording session today, I'm gonna send you to the goddamn sewer, the sewer speedway, uh, uh, speed run, so you so that you can just have your jaw drop down down to the floor. Nice. That shit is disgusting. Well, speedrunners are disgusting. They make me. They challenge everything I know they about are games. Disgusting. <laughs> Amazingly disgusting. <laughs> Now, this boss key not only opens this door, it also resets all the races. Yes. What we can do from here... Yep, all the tracks are open again. Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. You guys get in the pattern? Here, no, 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 turn around. We gotta go do it, do the CTR tokens. The CTR tokens. Here's Akuaku's explanation. Collect every crystal in the arena before the time runs out. If you can get them all, you will win a prize. Oh, I bet it's that. Yes, the purple CTR token challenges are just what Akuaku said. They're time trials where you're attempting to collect all the crystals. However, these particular ones take place in the four standard battle arena modes. Oh, yeah, that's right. A skull right. rock is planned. What the fuck? But, uh, what? I I actually forgot that they take you to a different racetrack altogether in order to do these. Yeah, they do. I forgot there was a battle mode. <laughs> Good oh, heavens. Dude, the battle mode is one of the second best things about CTR. Well, you can only do battle mode if you have other people to play with. <laughs> I didn't have other That's people to play with. <laughs> But Skull Rock is not honestly all that difficult. Uh, it is your first time because you have no idea how the placement works. But if you if you end up just going ar uh, around in circles for a good portion of the time, you'll be okay. Yeah. Basically, they're they're not they're not that hard to find. Plus, you have infinite retries. Yes, you have infinite retries, which is a very good thing. These are the powers of me. Could you imagine a racer with a life system? That would be fucking terrible. That would be F-Zero X. All right. <laughs> the F-Zero games actually do have a life system. And we all, we all can appreciate how much that screws with the gameplay. <laughs> Fall off the track, you don't come back on. Run out of health, you die. <laughs> come in second, you have to start yeah. it over. <laughs> Collect the letters C, T, and R on each track and come in first place to win a CTR token. Beware, some letters are hard to find. Yeah, he's not lying. Specifically in Crash Cove, uh, and this is why we're doing this one first, the, the uh, CTR letters are uh, specifically the last one is in an area that you're not supposed to be taking during the race itself. You flat out lose time if you take this uh, take this path. Right. Yeah. Actually, I think I do. It's it's the it's the T, isn't and it? And this and this one here, you lose time. You lose time do, uh, going. Yeah. The first, do, lap. first lap, get all the letters. Remaining two laps, get back in the lead <laughs> because you're going to lose it. Yeah. Uh, it's on. It's honestly an interesting thing to see. Uh, to to do. To be perfectly honest, it's an interesting changing. That's an interesting changing gameplay. But God damn it. Fuck. Try again. It fucks, it fucks over your route so hard. Well, that's the point. <laughs> that's the point. I know that's the point, but it's not fair. They get to race normally, and they don't care about the CTR tokens. Like, at all. We have heightened sense of accomplishment, for we've done more than these dullards. See, all you gotta do now is collect the letter C, and it's a normal race again. Yeah, but it'll be a normal race for the lap. For the last lap. That's okay. <laughs> a race need only take one lap. I ran, I made it to the finish line first. You lose. Good day, sir. But I don't like sprint courses. I like circuit courses. Alright. Crash is a distant second at this point. <laughs> uh, not distant. He's, he is just right there. He's, he's not coming around the turn. I love that the mini-map actually tells you where all, the, all of your combination is in relation yeah. to you. That is very, very, nice. very helpful. Yes, especially, especially because all of these are just AI characters who do not feel self-conscious for being so far behind. No, with Polar in last place. 
Jeez. It's okay. And we won. Congratulations. You just won a CTR token. Unfortunately, Aku does not say that. Loading. Yeah, he literally, the CTR token uh, just, you know, uh, is added to your inventory. <laughs> Um, refresh my memory. What what do the tokens do again? Are they just things you have to get? The CTR tokens are required for the gem the gem tournaments, and the gem tournaments are required to unlock the additional racers. There are there are a total of four additional characters that you can get by, by playing through the campaign mode. They are uh, Ripper Roo, who we've already seen, uh, Papu Papu from uh, from Crash One. Uh, Pinstripe. Uh, Komodo Joe from Crash 2, and Pinstripe from Crash 1. However, uh, there, the fifth uh, the fifth gem cup, the purple gem cup, is for a character that was based on a marketing campaign that was absolutely hilarious and broken. I don't even think I've ever unlocked that guy. Oh, you see? Polar blocked you! <laughs> Polar actually, yes, he, blocked he actually you blocked you. <laughs> all right, Polar, you're adorable and all, but now you gotta die. I'm gonna get very. No, he just has to lose. We don't have to kill Polar. Polar is actually uh, Polar. If I was, if I was going to do this playthrough just for fun, as opposed to as opposed to showing off how decent I am in the game, I would have actually picked either Polar or Pura, because Polar and Pura are actually pretty fun to play with. Oh, nice! You blocked it too. Yep. Nice. I had to wait until until my shield literally ran out to do it, though. Yeah, that was. I thought I thought you were gonna get hit because your shield just ran out. But yeah, uh, as with most other car racing games, this this game is really all about uh, learning when it, when how and why to power slide. Yep. Tight turn. Once power you, slide. Once you figured out how to uh, chain up uh, triple power slides on almost every turn. The game kind of just falls over. Basically, yeah, because how else do you go faster? You're you're doing you're doing the dominant strategy. I mean, I mean you can get power ups, but yeah, but, but you yes, can't get the the nitro power ups are honestly not that. Yeah, great. dude, you got to be at least in fourth place to get the Aku Aku mask. Ah, uh, third, I think. You see, you still have to basically be just about to lose. Not really. Third is actually really relatively close to, uh, based on how the AI performs. That's true, because fourth wouldn't be that far behind you. <laughs> Yay, got the R. Now this is a game where you can actually affect how the other racers do, versus what Crash 3 did, where basically I felt like I was running against a script the entire time. Um... What do you mean? You remember the race? You remember the the motorcycle levels in Crash Three? Yeah, but you were running against the script the entire time. Though. But it felt dumb. I I had no agency in how well the other racers were doing. I I just had to avoid them. <laughs> so you prefer kart racers over over normal racers then? Yes, yes, I would I would definitely prefer kart racers, especially kart racers that give me a fucking spike shell if I'm doing really shitty. <laughs> Oh, come on, dude. Everyone hates the blue shell. You can't seriously be defending the blue All shell. All I'm saying is every racing game has to have a remedy for people who succumb to either bad luck or really targeted dickatry. Yeah, but targeted dickatry is not really that big of a thing in, in, uh, in car racers. Specifically because in order to target someone with power-ups, you usually have to be behind them. Yeah. Damn it. It's okay. It was necessary. See, there's a speed boost right there. <laughs> and we hit Polar with our red potion. Die, Polar. Uh, yes. When you, uh, juicing up your power-ups drastically changes their effects. For example, the green potion, which only, uh, which, uh, only actually in, uh, in, introduces a uh, slow, uh, small spin-out to your opponents, becomes a red potion, which has one of three different effects. Either wobbly suspicion, suspension, ice physics, or... I forget what the third one is. Something else really terrible, I'm sure. 
uh, honestly, they're not that bad, but they all come with a, but, but they all come with a, a rather significant speed down. Yeah, the worst uh, <laughs> the worst thing that'll happen is well, right over here. Put a fuck, put a put a fuck you right on the ramp so that when they hit it, they lose their momentum and fall in the pit, <laughs> thus exacerbating the, the yep. decrease in momentum they just suffered. <laughs> Although if you fall if you fall into a pit while you're affected by a red potion cloud, I think the red potion cloud goes away. Well, that's good. See, the game doesn't want you to feel too bad when you fuck up. It just wants to make it just wants to make it very clear that yeah, you fucked up. And in the next part, we'll continue getting more CTR tokens. Yeah.